Records, like dinner plates in a Greek restaurant, are made to be broken. But I seriously doubt if the 60-year-old record at Telmo Zara that Lionel Messi just smashed the smithereens will ever be superseded. Oppa! Pep Guardiola said Messi's mushrooming record setting won't be matched in 60 years or 600 years. I was a 10-year-old lad when I fell in love with Pelly, and then later Diego Maradona knocked me for a loop, bewitched me. But it wasn't their goal-scoring achievements or records or trophy-winning that seduced and beguiled me. It was nothing to do with measuring sticks called statistics. It was the same when I played alongside George Best and Kubias and Gerd Muller. These players are often categorised by mortal accountancy, numbers of goals and medals. But that's not where these players live. Messi's staggering achievements are conveniently boxed for all of us and future generations to contemplate, digest and reference in the cold light of digital analysis. But that's not where Messi lives. At 27 years of age, within his Aladdin's cave of Ballon d'Ors, medals, numerous best player awards in every tournament, his golden boots, his golden shoes, on and on, they set the bar so extraordinarily high that only his great nemesis, Cristiano, has a snowball in a microwave's chance of matching him. And he could. The stats show there's very little between them, but that's not where I see Messi living. He abides in the magnetic spectrum of genius with the ball, where his divine connection of eyes to brain to feet cannot be measured with a stopwatch or a number. Like that once-in-a-lifetime moment when you see your first love across a crowded room. There's some things that can't be measured, thank God. And all we can do is look in disbelief at Messi's pure footballing magic.